Hey people, how are you doing this evening? It's Makeda Valletta on my IG page, The Body Scientist. I'm in the supermarket in Chicago, just a regular supermarket. Came in here just to grab something, something quick. Um, but I talk about hydration a lot. I've had a few videos where I talk about hydration. I would never, ever, ever drink Gatorade, Powerade, none of that stuff. And that's all you see in uh, gyms and things like that. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna look at the ingredients with you and tell you why. Because a lot of people say, oh yeah, Gatorade has a lot of sugar. No, sugar is the least of your concerns. And actually, you need sugar when you're working out. So that's the least of the concerns with Gatorade. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We're gonna, we're gonna go through the ingredients. Also, if you subscribe to my subscriptions here on IG, um, I do a lot of supermarket videos where I go into depth with ingredients. So if you want more videos like that, definitely subscribe to my um, IG subscriptions, okay? So, okay, so we have, okay, so this Gatorade, this Gatorade says zero sugar. So everybody thinks that sugar is the big problem with Gatorade. And so they heard that and they made zero sugar, okay? So people think, oh, it's good because it's zero sugar. Now let's look at these ingredients, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a sports nutritionist, so I, I know a lot about hydration, okay? So we look at these ingredients. We have water, okay, which I don't get that because, well, I'll get into that in a second. Citric acid, sodium citrate, salt, monopotassium phosphate, gum arabic, natural flavors, sucralose, acylfame, potassium, sucrose acetate. Okay, so let me tell you how this is t t horrible, okay? So let's go through these ingredients. Um, the sodium citrate and monopotassium phosphate. Oops, sorry. Sodium citrate and monopotassium phosphate. Basically, that's fake sodium and fake potassium. So for hydration, hydration has to do with your electrolyte balance, not with water. You can actually drink too much water and end up dehydrating yourself. So, and I'm sorry this camera is not as clear as I'd like it to be, but monopotassium phosphate and sodium citrate, that is um, fake electrolytes, not good. Um, gum arabic, some other crap. You have natural flavors, which is, natural flavors are the exact same thing as artificial flavors, same exact thing. It's toxic. Do we have sucralose? I wish the, I wish the camera was clearer. Sucralose is an artificial sugar that is cancer causing and super fucking toxic. Then this other one, I can't pronounce, acesulfame. That's another artificial sugar that is cancer causing and toxic. Okay. Then you have sucrose acetate, which is fake sucrose. Isobutyrate, which is some chemical crap. Okay glycerol ester of resin and in yellow number six any artificial colors are seriously cancer causing seriously this is fucking terrible okay now when we look at the potassium there's 50 milligrams of potassium which is nothing and 160 milligrams of sodium i should probably find some coconut water i, have, I just bought some coconut water um i was just i just did a video on whole foods I don't see coconut water in this aisle because I would show you. Well, since I can't show you, I'll just talk about it. And I'll post a video of coconut water. But 50 milligrams of potassium is nothing, okay? We need a lot of potassium. If you have coconut water or watermelon juice, there's like 700 milligrams, anywhere between 500 to 700 milligrams of potassium in that same serving, okay? And there's a little bit of sodium. So we need a lot of potassium and a little bit of sodium. That's true for hydration. That is true for people with, hyper with hypertension, okay? that electrolyte balance, but it's critical for hydration. Gatorade hardly has any potassium. 50 milligrams of potassium is absolutely nothing. It's insignificant. Then you have a whole bunch of cancer-causing chemicals. You have fake potassium, fake sodium, okay? But if you drink coconut water or watermelon juice, you're gonna get the right balance of potassium and sodium that naturally occurs, no um, cancer-causing artificial colors, okay? No. Um, cancer causing artificial sugars because we actually need carbohydrates when we're working out. That's what our brain uses and that's what our muscles use. And hydration also has a lot to do with your blood sugar levels. People think hydration has to do with water. It has to do with your blood sugar levels and your electrolyte balance, okay? And Gatorade knows that so they put that in their advertising. Now, let's look at another one, okay? There's a whole bunch of crap. And this is all the crap you see in the gyms. 
all this bullshit core power this, this is not a this is a protein thing but you guys know I, I drink a lot of raw milk right so this is a high protein milkshake okay <laughs> this is bullshit okay let's look at these ingredients filtered low-fat grade-a milk okay so you never want to consume low-fat or fat-free milk because you need fat to digest protein first of all when you eat uh, protein with no fat it depletes your vitamin A and that causes a lot of health problems okay so you need that you also need the fat to get the fat soluble vitamins then natural flavors which is the same thing as artificial flavors toxic you want to avoid that as much as possible um, monk fruit which I think is high in oxalates then you have stevia leaf carrageenan carrageenan is no good cellulose gel cellulose gum maltodextrin that acyl fame that artificial sweetener again that is really cancer causing then you have sucralose another cancer causing artificial sugar okay then you have vitamin A palmitate which is fake vitamin A and then vitamin D3 now if you consume I consume raw milk raw milk naturally has vitamin A and vitamin D it's not added in and then all this carrageenan, cellulose gel, cellulose gum, maltodextrin, all of that is there to make up for the fact that there's no fat in the milk, okay? So they put those fillers in there to make up for the fact that there's no fat. And we really need the fat, okay? So when you look here at the nutrition panel, this is why you have to always look at the ingredients. Because when you look at the nutrition panel, you see vitamin A, you see calcium, um, all that stuff is added in. It's all fake, okay? This shit is poison, cancer causing, right? Now look at this okay I would never drink this you see kids drinking this people wonder why so many people have cancer but then so many kids let's not forget the fastest growing rate of cancer is in children I don't even need to read the ingredients to know this is fucking cancer causing poison but let's look at the ingredients anyway okay you can't see it okay you can't I don't know if you can see it but dextrose monohydrate not good sodium lactate potassium chloride malic acid molasses natural strawberry kiwi flavor now again anything this is natural flavors is the same thing as artificial flavors then you got magnesium chloride calcium chloride fd and c red number 40 okay so sorry um artificial colors are seriously cancer causing okay so you do not want to consume this you don't want to consume any of this Gatorade, okay? All of these sports drinks, and they, they sponsor everything when it comes to professional sports, Little League. It is bad enough for professional athletes to be consuming this, but for kids to consume this when it's just so cancer-causing, all this, anything that's blue, red, green, all that is artificial fucking colors, okay? Now, please understand artificial colors are seriously cancer-causing, okay? As, as you saw before, that none of these have the right balance of electrolytes okay I drink coconut water and watermelon juice religiously and you have a lot of black Americans who get triggered by watermelon but if you think about the fact that we were in the American South like it's hot as hell and you're working watermelon juice and coconut water are the two most perfect fluids to drink for hydration okay if you go to the hospital because you um, you passed out from dehydration they give you electrolyte fluid okay they don't give you water and the fluid that they give you is basically the same as coconut water in terms of the electrolyte balance so again I, we already went through if you just came into this video watch it from the beginning if you really care about your health so I, I, I there's no way in hell okay I would ever ever drink any of this shit now let's see we have Gatorade fit now this is the marketing healthy real hydration no added sugar no artificial sweeteners or flavors no added colors okay so that's what they say now let's look at the ingredients because the food industry is tricky with how they hide shit okay so watermelon juice concentrate which is fake watermelon juice okay any juice from concentrate is not real juice okay um, got citric acid sea salt natural flavor which is the same thing as artificial flavor got the fake vitamin C stevia fake okay so let me tell you something about this one this is not great but this is not as bad as the others but this is still bad because you shouldn't buy things that have fake vitamins fake vitamins are not the same thing as real vitamins it's a different chemical form and also I'm gonna do a video tomorrow on something about supplements um, vitamins why you want to stay away from fake vitamins they're really really bad you just want vitamins to be naturally occurring in food 
So this doesn't have any artificial colors in it, okay? Um, it doesn't have added sugar like they said, but there's no sugar in here. And if you are um, working out, you need carbohydrates, okay? So if you look at the carbohydrates, only three grams of carbohydrates, 230 milligrams of sodium, and absolutely, oh, and 60 milligrams of potassium, okay? Now, it doesn't make sense that there's vitamin A in here because you need fat to digest vitamin A. Okay, you cannot um, digest, you cannot metabolize vitamin A. Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. There's no fat in here. Okay, but they added in fake vitamin, oh, they added in beta carotene. Beta carotene is not vitamin A. Okay, true vitamin A is retinol. I did a video on vitamin A. That's not vitamin A, first of all. And beta carotene as a supplement is very bad for you and cancer causing. Now, the 230 milligrams of sodium and three milligrams of carbohydrate and no potassium. So, again, it's not what you need, okay? You need a lot more potassium than that, like hundreds more milligrams of potassium. So if you look at coconut water or watermelon juice, that same amount, you'll get like anywhere between five to 700 milligrams of potassium, and maybe it's like 70 milligrams of sodium. So you need the sodium, you need the potassium, you need the right balance. Gatorade has hardly any potassium. 50 milligrams, that's nothing. And then 230 milligrams of sodium. No, it should be like about 500 milligrams of potassium and about 50, 70 milligrams of sodium. That's what it's supposed to be, okay? So not only is Gatorade, Powerade, all this shit, not even what you need for hydration. It's not the right balance, but it's full of cancer-causing chemicals, okay? All of those chemicals are cancer-causing. And people shouldn't play around with cancer, okay? Cancer is replacing heart disease as the number one killer. The fastest growing rate of cancer is in children. I know, of, I know too many people who have lost children to cancer, okay? Too many. So why poison yourself with that shit when you don't have to? It's time for people to use critical thinking skills. Do you people really think that you need to buy some shit that's made in a laboratory to stay hydrated when people have been living on this planet for thousands of years, working in the heat, and people stayed hydrated? Nature gives you what you need. Look at my videos on hydration, but just don't consume Gatorade. If you want, or Powerade, or none of that. And that's all they sell in the gyms. <sighs> Hold on a minute, I'm buying some other things. That's all they sell in the gyms is those fake protein shakes. You guys see me drink raw milk all the time. Raw milk has the best protein, naturally occurring, naturally occurring vitamin A and vitamin D, naturally occurring calcium. You know, all that stuff is naturally occurring. And people have been drinking milk from animals from around the world since the beginning of time. But not that fake shit, okay? That fake shit is not good, I can promise you that. And everybody who's in the gym working out a lot eats all that shit. Everybody who's in the gym working out a lot, they always got like a big, a big container or something green or purple. They got Gatorade. Today I bought some coconut water in the street from some Mexicans in Chicago and it was really good coconut water. But then there was a bottle of Gatorade on the table. Somebody there who was selling the coconut water was drinking Gatorade. And I'm like, what the, no, just drink the coconut water, okay? So if, you know, no. So if you guys, oh my God, hold on, I'm just gonna show you this just because it's in my face. Tim Pico, I can't believe people still drink this. This is really cancer in a fucking bottle, okay? Oh my God, this shit looks terrible. And you see a lot of this in like Caribbean countries and stuff like, um, I would never. Now, let's do a quick look at these ingredients. High fructose corn syrup. You don't see that too much anymore, but that shit's poison. Juice from concentrate. Um, you have EDTA, which is a preservative, which is highly cancer-causing. Um, you have sucralose, artificial sugar, which in, in acylfame, potassium, another artificial sugar, which is seriously cancer-causing. You have a bunch of other crap, food, starch modified, yellow number six, which is, again, cancer, 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 cancer. And then corn oil. Again, cancer, 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 cancer. Everything in here is bad, but why the fuck is there corn oil in here? Corn oil? That's why this shit looks like this. I wouldn't drink this if I was, hold on, I'm trying to, I don't know where to put this. I'm trying to put this down, hold on. I'm gonna put this on the floor. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, anyhow, I wouldn't drink that if I was, dying of thirst and it was the last thing I could fucking eat. 
Now, even though I'm in a regular supermarket, which I don't food shop in here, I just came in here to buy some scissors and a little bit of sugar for my um, spaghetti sauce. But I just want to show you something because this also came up in my face just now. So these biscuits, okay, this is actually a good brand of biscuits, okay? This Mason Dixie. So if you really like biscuits, I would never consume um, Pillsbury biscuits or any of that. Just look at the ingredients. But this, and they have this in Whole Foods. I'm surprised to see this. I'm in Jewel in Chicago, which is like a regular supermarket. So um, this is actually good. See, made with real butter. Now let's look at the ingredients of this, okay? Buttermilk butter, okay? Milk, cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese powder. No, cheese powder is not the best, but it's not the worst. Sugar, baking soda, salt, okay? That's it. The enriched flour. Now, some people don't want to consume flour and all that, but I'm just saying, um, that's way better than some Pillsbury biscuits. Like, if you want to buy some frozen biscuits, then just get those. Let's, let's if you can find them. Because there's Pillsbury's here, let's just compare it. Okay, let's compare it. This Pillsbury got soybean oil in it. Cancer, 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 heart disease, uh, hypertension. That if you want that, consume soybean oil. Okay, then you got hydrogenated soybean oil on top of it. Okay, and then natural flavor, a bunch of other crap. I'm not gonna go through it because I gotta get out the soup. But you get the point. I'm going to stop the video because I got to go to the supermarket. But you guys got to, people got to read ingredients. Got to read ingredients. And I post videos like this every so often. Hold on, I'm trying to find something else. But um, if you want more videos like this, definitely, um, definitely check out my um, subscriptions. Because I do a lot more videos like that. Um, but you can find... You can consume better quality food. A lot of people like to recite this myth that all the food in the U.S. is poison and toxic. Not true. You can find good quality food. You just have to know how to look for it, okay? You just have to know how to look for it. You have to know how to read ingredients. Most people don't know how to do that, which is why I'm picky about people cooking for me. When people offer to cook for me, I'm like, hmm, unless I know that you know what's up and you know quality ingredients, I'm good on somebody cooking for me because most people just buy all this regular toxic shit. So anyhow, I'm done with the video. If you learned something, please like it. Please share it. If you want more videos like this, um, you can subscribe to my subscriptions. And I'm going to repost this video to my YouTube page. So if you're on Instagram and you don't follow me on YouTube, be sure to do that. The Body Science is 81. And if you're on YouTube and you don't follow me on IG, do that as well. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good day, good night, whatever. Bye.